Hey guys, welcome back once again, Ernest Cole Fishing. I am, as always, the Bass Man Ernest Cole. If you guys follow me for uh, any length of time, you know that in the past I made this a DIY conservation coal clip. This was a good idea at the time, but over time I uh, found out that it ended up looking a little bit <laughs> like this. So if you followed me and you made these yourself, I'm sorry. So today we're going to fix that problem. I'm going to show you guys how to make a new and improved version of the DIY conservation coal clip. So let's get into it. All right, guys, just as in the last clip, let me tell you some of the, uh, the items you're going to need to make these coal clips. Set this to the side. First off, uh, the clip itself. Uh, the clips that I had, I got these from Harbor Freight, and they were good, but over time, the metal, um, it was metal, and it rusted for, you know, very quickly. Uh, and they just didn't hold. They weren't strong enough. When I got a big fish especially, it sling it off, and it just was useless after a while. Uh, the new coal clips are super strong. Let's get a close-up here. They've got a, some teeth on there to really bite into those fish and keep those in place. Let me tell you where I got these at. I searched high and low for a better solution to that clip, and I finally found one. This is actually a glove clip uh, for industrial uses. Uh, this is, let's see here. I got these off of eBay. I, you can get these from uh, industrial supply companies. But what this is, is a clip that you hold gloves on, like your work gloves, you clip them on here, and the other end you clip on your belt loop or on your pants of some sort. Let me try to get that. This is a squibs grabber. Uh, the company is Ergodyne Work Gear. Um, like I said, I tried high and low to try to find a solution to this, and I finally was able to find something that would work as good as maybe the Calcos clips or some of those with locking clips uh, instead of having to pay 50 bucks. Uh, I will leave a link below on um, all the items that I did and where I got them from and how much they cost. I can't remember off the top of my head what all this cost because it took me a couple of weeks to acquire all of this because I've been trying to find a better solution to what I had. Uh, but these, uh, this is the model 3400. Um, these are orange. They come in different colors. I know you guys, some of you guys may not be Tennessee fans. This is just the color that I found that I could uh, quickly see in my live well. Uh, they've got them in black, pink, uh, different sizes, but uh, they come in the pack together. Like I said, clip these on your gloves, clip them on your belt loop, but you can quickly break these in half there's you know the ends of them are where you can uh and then you've got actually two cold clips from one pack and i ordered a six pack of these off of ebay uh and i can make <clears throat> i think probably about 12 cold tags if i need to uh, i don't know if i'll make that many or not but uh that as far as the clip section that is what i got uh, as far as line I went with standard paracord. I had a ton of this laying around, uh, just 550 paracord. Uh, if you guys do any DIY, DIY projects, uh, especially any kayak guys, you've got plenty of this stuff laying around. Uh, the tubing that that goes in, I'll show you how to use that here in a minute. Got it at Lowe's. Just some clear vinyl tubing. This is 10 foot long. Inside diameter is a quarter inch. The outside diameter is three quarter, three eighths. Excuse me. I tried some smaller diameter, but it was really hard to get the paracord in there without threading it with a needle and pulling it through, and it was just a little bit uh, too much trouble than it was worth. So I got a bigger size. Uh, you guys may can use a smaller size for a more compact uh, application. It's just whatever you want. The floats on the end, same floats I used before. Went to Walmart, got just cheap floats. Uh, you can use whatever kind of floats you want. I originally 
I uh, went to the uh, hobby section of Walmart and got these two inch foam, uh, styrofoam balls, but they're not as dense as a regular float. And it ended up, the knot just ended up pulling right through these. This is just a real porous material. Um, you know, this is used like for science fairs for kids, but I went with a regular float. Uh, you guys can check out that or use a different float if it's, you know, available in your area. This is just what Walmart had. All right, so let's get down to assembly of this cold clip. Uh, like I said, take your, got your clip here, uh, your length of tubing. I used about six inches. Uh, that's what I made these previous, these prior uh, clips. That's the length of my uh, rope here was about six inches. So I just kind of started there. Uh, that's just uh, the lid on my live well. That's just how it closes. Uh, it's a good length without getting caught or uh, uh, falling too far into the water. But you guys can, uh, you know, vary this length to fit your needs. Uh, I've got a mark here on my table here at about six inches. And just uh, there you go with that. Take your paracord. And what I did is just, I got me a good bit because you're going to have to do some threading and some knots. So I always got me a little bit extra of that. Anytime you're working with paracord, Always burn those ends. Try not to burn yourself. Uh, and it just makes it a lot easier to work with without that fraying. Having to deal with that everywhere. And then you take your float. Uh, these are just, you know, friction fit floats. You just slip your line in here, put these. A lot of guys use these for brim fishing, crappie fishing, but you'll notice that uh, they're not hollow all the way through. So just take you a drill with a drill bit. Uh, this bit's just a smidge uh, bigger diameter than the hole that's in this. It's okay. Just ream that hole out to where you can pass that paracord now all the way through. All right, first things first. First thing you wanna do is attach it to your clip. And the way that I attach these is I tie kind of a slip knot. To where that, you've got that loop, but you cinch that down to where uh, it's on there nice and tight. It's not gonna unravel, it's not gonna come loose. And it's on there good and tight. Good and tight. That's not gonna come off with any fish. And take your paracord and slide through your tubing. Now this tubing was essential. I was trying to find a way to avoid uh, the bird's nest. This kind of looks like an iPhone cord if you just set it down on the table. Uh, so that tubing was really key. I wasn't sure if I was going to try to make a cable or uh, what, but I ended up going with the clear tubing. Uh, the good thing about this new clip is there are no metal parts at all. You won't have to worry about rust or breakage of the, uh, you know, from metal parts rusting and breaking. But once you've got that in your tubing, you just want to slide it through your float. All right, and then you want to make yourself just an overhand knot. And the key to this, to not have this slide up and down and tangle up like the previous version is just slide that knot, keep sliding that down until your knot is right. So it's a little bit too high. I just want to slide that knot down as close as I can get it to your float there. And that's not going to come out. 
if that pulls out you can always go back later glue it in maybe put a washer uh, but by and large that's not going to come out I've used it on these the same deal it's not come loose and as before just clip off that really close really close to your knot and again take your lighter and just singe those ends of that paracord so it doesn't unravel I like to kind of it'll kind of look like uh, wax when it's on there and just burn it down all right there you go guys this tubing will uh, it'll stretch out once it gets warm it's cold in my shop right now so this is not flexing at all but there you go guys that is the version 2.0 of my conservation cold clip uh, like i said if you guys try the other version i had some guys contact me that really liked it uh but uh the design was a good idea it's just the you know needed a little bit of tweaking uh but this i feel like is going to be a better version of a cold clip that uh, is a really really strong clip there uh this is you know an industrial clip they use these every day they sell a ton of them but there you go, guys, and uh, you can you know paint these floats, uh, number them like I did before on the other tags, which is what I'll do on these. Uh, don't fish a ton of tournaments, but when I do, I want to have the right tools that I need for the right job. But with that being said, guys, I'm going to make some more of these. I appreciate each and every one of you that have watched my videos. I've made it to 1,000 subscribers. Appreciate each and every one of you for uh, sticking with me through these years and follow me along and all the comments um, Appreciate it. Enjoy so much interacting with people when I see them at the ramp or through social media but Thank you guys for watching Like share comment subscribe uh, Let me know if you try these if you guys can see any type of improvements I'm more than willing to uh, listen. I'm always wanting to improve uh, on the stuff that I got and I enjoy these DIY projects. They really, uh, I really enjoy them, especially during the winter time when it's cold. You can't get on the water. Uh, it's best to prepare to get out on the water. So with that being said, guys, like, share, comment. Please just keep coming back and there'll be more videos this year. I'm the Bassman Ernest Cole and we'll see you guys down the road.